In November of 2020, we were at a hardware store in Central Florida and noticed some very colorful caterpillars all over a particular group of plants. We couldn't take our eyes off them. We had no idea what kind of caterpillar they were. We saw that it was red butterfly milkweed that they were eating, and we wondered what kind of caterpillar eats milkweed. So we looked it up and found out that these were monarch butterfly caterpillars. So of course we just had to buy a number of the plants. We picked the five that had the most caterpillars and brought them home. It was amazing watching them climb around and eat every leaf in sight. After a day, we noticed almost all the leaves were gone. It was apparent their food was running out. So of course, we went back and bought more plants. When those ran out too, we were desperate to feed them because some were already hanging themselves upside down in a J-shape getting ready to form a chrysalis. We read that in a pinch they will eat butternut squash slices, so we bought one, cut it up, and hung pieces in front of each caterpillar. They did eat it, and for some, it proved to be the last bit of nourishment they needed before turning. All the little caterpillars would fall asleep eating every night and wake up and start to eat again the next morning. We found more plants at another hardware store, which helped the last ones power eat for their transformation. Each little caterpillar spent somewhere around 24 hours hanging upside down in a J-shape before they split their striped caterpillar skin and wiggled it off their head and up to their feet. They looked like they were trying to wiggle out of a pair of pantyhose or like they were unzipping a wetsuit and trying to get it off. This feat was extraordinary and took about five minutes and all to happen, so we had to be ready to watch it. Fortunately, with 25 caterpillars all transforming at different times, we learned when to pay attention. After they wiggle out of their caterpillar stocking, they spend about 10 more minutes wiggling themselves into a more compact chrysalis where they then hang for 7 to 14 days.
As time goes by, the chrysalis changes from the most beautiful green to one that is transparent. When this happens, you can see all the colors of their wings start to show. Once all the green is gone and the colors are deep and bright, you know it's only a matter of hours until they hatch out. It only takes a minute for them to emerge from their chrysalis, and we were never quite quick enough to see it from the start. When they first emerge, their bodies are fat and short, and their wings are not completely unfurled. They spend the next hour or two stretching out their bodies and new wings and uncoiling and coiling their proboscis, which is what they use to eat nectar. For some of them, we used a net butterfly cage so they wouldn't fly around the house but we got so good at knowing when they were going to hatch that we just moved the plant outside and kept watch. We were so happy to have all but one chrysalis hatch. That one had fallen when one of its fellow caterpillars had not yet turned and ate through the leaf that it was attached to, and it fell. We tried to reattach it, but it had already been injured. The chrysalises are quite delicate, so care should be taken not to bump or jar them. We also noticed that the butterfly that ate butternut squash right before it became a chrysalis hatched out smaller than the others, which lends to the fact that milkweed is so important for these beautiful creatures. It's not difficult to raise monarch butterflies. Spiders and fire ants will eat monarch eggs and caterpillars. So making sure that these 24 that hatched made it to the wild was very rewarding for us. Let's all see if we can help increase the monarch butterfly populations. This is a fun and educational thing to do. So if you happen to be at the hardware store or find milkweed growing in your yard, keep an eye out for these beautiful caterpillars. <laughs>